Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to embed the texture in an exported FBX by using the Blender. But before that, you may feel you'll face some issues and I'm going to list out to let you know, right? You can scroll down, go to my video descriptions. I already planned and give you this video tutorial summary. And actually, what am I going to show? And actually, what is the problem? How are you going to make sure that the texture is not missing from Blender? Sometimes you may just move the texture image, the image locations in your window 10. And how are you going to troubleshoot the missing texture? All right, so start from now, I just give you a demo. Now, as demo, at the beginning, I'm going to create a 3D model with texture. This is just a very simple demo and start from there. All right, I open the Blender. If this is the first time I open the Blender, click here. And because of this is a basic 3D modeling, I don't want all of this. I delete the camera roll. Press delete buttons. I delete the cube and also I delete the light. Next, I'm going to add a very simple surface, uh, sorry, a very simple 3D mesh that is a cube. All right? You can see this is a cube and I turn on the texture here. This is the viewport shading. I turn on the texture and I can see it is perfectly white. You don't have any texture yet. Now, in order to add a texture, I will click here. Sorry, this one. This is a material property. You can see everything empty. Don't have anything. So click plus new. Then the base color now, it is just to select the color. All right. But actually, we don't want this. All right. We don't want this. We just want to change it. Click here change it to become the image texture. All right. Once like this, you have to click open. As demo, that image is on my desktop. That is a DICE UV. What is that? That is just a PNG image, you can see. A PNG image, this is just a picture. So now from, from the Blender, I open from my desktop, double click DICE UV. Now you can see it is already have the texture and just a very simple, a very simple actions. I go to the I click and go to the UV editing. I just want to rearrange, rearrange everything. So here you can see, you can't see any of the texture. You, you need to move here. To make sure you turn on the viewport shading. And now let's say this part, these are the, the UV mapping. Let's say if you click here already, you not selected it. So how are you going to select it again? Just drag it here and sorry, you drag it here so that you can see you can see this. Then so you click on that, drag and select everything again. It will be selected again and click here again. All right now, you are going to move this part. Move all to fit to fit this cube. All right now, this is a complete 3D model. And now start from now, you can back to your video description. After you create a 3D model with texture, save as a Blender project file. First, All right now I save. You can see the texture is on my desktop. And then now I save this Blender project file. Save as. Save on my desktop. And I will just name this as the dice. All right, save as. And this is a blend file. All right. Back to the layout. This is a 3D model. If you close it. Save. All right. Next time you open again the dice blend. You can see the texture still at there. 
what about you check check the video description there what am i going to show you what will happen if we move the original texture location and how it affect the blender project file how to troubleshoot if the texture is missing all right now i do a demo for you about the number five all right here i close first this is the texture if I move it, let's say I create a new folder here. Once the new folder already created, I move the original texture into a new location or I just simply delete it. What will happen to your Blender file? Your Blender project, if you double click and open again, and at this moment you can see the texture is missing so what you need to do is you go back to the material setting there you can see the material the texture is dice uv.png but actually it cannot detect just because of it is missing it cannot detect so what can you do you back to the layout there click right here you open again to find the location it is on my desktop inside the new folder double click in you can see the dice uv.png is at there double click now the texture already back now remember to save so through this fact you look at the number five you need to always understand that once you already once you already assign and import the texture do not simply move it to a new location before you export it as FBS file, you do not move it. If it is missing, you need to find it back. If it is a lot of texture, then you will be in trouble. You need to plot it one by one. So you better don't move any textures location. All right, number six. What will happen? What will happen if the Blender project file is opened and you delete and move the texture file? What will happen to the texture? Of the exported FBX file. Alright, so now again, now the default location it is inside the new folder here. Alright, so we are going to do an experiment from the Blender for this time. This is the default location. I export it as FBX file. I export it on my desktop. Okay, this will be dice texture at original location All right so for this time i click export the fbs the texture we add will be at the original location and then after that i move the dice i move the dice uv I move the texture to another location. All right. Then you can see it is still not, not missing, right? And now I export it again. Export as FBX file. At this time, dice the texture at the original location. This one. I rename it as the dice texture move to new location. Then so I click export the FBX. Now we have two. The first, the dice, the texture at the, the, at the original locations. The second one is texture move to a new location. All right. So now, where is the original location? The original location is at here. Now, we try with the third party software, for example, the iClone 7. All right. This one, the texture at the original location. Then we drag in. Can you see? No, the texture is missing. What about? Okay, I delete it again. What about if I move it to, to the original location and then I import this FBX file? What will happen? Now, you see? Let's say if I move away again from here. This is another software we call Icon 7. If I move it away, is that 
Is that the texture we lost? Of course, you already imported, doesn't matter. So you can see this FBX file without embedded texture, the original locations, the original location of the texture is a new folder. You must make sure it's always there so that when you import into the third party software, it will be there. Okay, if if you move it away, if you move it away or delete the texture, what will happen to the FBX file? If you import in, then it won't show you anything you can see. So in, in conclusion, after you export it as FBX file from Blender, the original texture locations must maintain it there. You, you cannot simply move the texture to another location or simply delete, delete the texture. You must make sure it is there so that, so that you can just import into any location. Alright, so another another one is the dice texture move to a new location. Just now in Blender, it is still opening. And then you move away, you move away the locations of the texture, and then you export it as FBX. Will it be okay? We just have a try. See. Load in. It is there because of the original location I did here. So if you move it, it will be the same. If you drag in this one, it will be totally blank, no texture. So even if you move to a new, new location, it doesn't matter. It still remember the original place. That is at, at the new folder. This one must be in, in a new folder here. This is original locations. Load in, then you can load the texture. Right. So you back to the video description, you will know the answer, right? What will happen if the Blender project file is open, you delete and move the texture file, it doesn't matter, but by the end, you must make sure, you must make sure that the texture is inside the original location. And then you can see, if you move it away from the original location, you load into the third party software, it don't show the texture, the texture is missing. So how, this is the final one, how to export the FBX properly with embed texture to make sure that the texture won't be missing. All right, to embed the texture, it is, you need to have one more action. This one, I delete everything first from the icon. This, this is another software, the third party software. All right, from the Blender. Now I start all over again, the bit. Now, double click the blend file. You check your texture. The texture is at here. So the original location of the texture is at new folder. So for this time, I export it as FBX file. I want to embed the texture. I have to choose the path mode. Make sure the path mode is copy. And then here you have to take it, click and make sure it is highlighted with blue color. Always remember. The path would copy and have to highlight here. Then, for this time, the dice, this is the file name, export it as FBX file with path mode copy. This means embed texture. Right. For this time, I click export FBX file. This is the new file that already embedded the texture. Path mode copy embedded the texture. That means for this time, for this time, the texture is embedded inside the FBX file. Then you can delete the original, the original texture. You can delete it. It doesn't matter. Let us have a try. Let's say I drag in the embedded texture. FBX. So I drag in, you can see it loads the texture, and then now 
if I delete the original locations of the texture, I press delete. Right now, the texture already gone. Will this still be work? The dice path mode copy embedded texture I, I drag in. Yes, it worked. See, this is what we call embedded texture. You can see it automatic will create another FBM folder. Even if you delete this, press delete button. Next time, if you drag in again, then it will create it again just because of for every time if you use the third party software to open this FBX file, it is going to extract the embedded texture in another folder that is exactly the same name with the FBX file with .fbm automatic extract it at here so forever you can get back your texture the texture won't be missing by using this method again file export fbx make sure here must be copy and then you must highlight this this is the selection this is the option to make sure you embed the texture inside the FBX. All right. You, should, you double check all the video tutorial summary. The first part, I create a 3D model with texture, and then I show you all these demo and explanations. By the end of this video, now you should be fully understand about all the textures missing issue and how to troubleshoot it, how to export the FBX. With embedded texture, to export it properly, everything will be fine and make sure that the texture won't be missing. That's all. Alright, that's all for today about how to embed the texture in exported FBX with all the explanation and theories. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy, happy animation, happy 3D modeling, and happy game developing. See you.